Hi, I'm Erica Alexander, and you're watching MadamNoir.com. Of all the characters I've played, who am I the most like? That's kind of scary, because I've played a lot of really good characters, but they are really flawed in some way. And if I say that, people say, I knew it. She's a sex addict. I don't want to hear that. So uh, <laughs> I played a wonderful character. People know me best for uh, Maxine Shaw, Living Single. And um, I'm really happy about that character, that I got a chance to, to play it. I love cast that we were with there, my sisters and brothers. It was a wonderful time, you know? Kim Fields is amazing, I learned a lot from her, and it was wonderful going into that type of situation with people that, that I had in, in my own time uh, really admired. The character itself is crazy. So if I admit to that, who am I really? So I loved playing her, but I don't really know how close I am to Max. <laughs> so there. Oh, what upcoming actress would I like to play? Max? I don't know who she is, and maybe she hasn't been discovered yet, and I'd like to really put, put it out there that, you know, maybe giving somebody a chance that no one knows would be great. Whoever she is, God bless her. Maybe they'll make her transvestite, who knows? What lessons did I learn from Cosby? It was scary going onto that set. I watched that show like everybody else did and was in awe of it. That was must-see TV. It created must-see TV Thursday nights, NBC. There was nothing like it before then, and it created all these opportunities for Seinfeld and Friends and all those other comedies that came after it. And everybody knew they were watching something that was gonna go down as an iconic program in history. And when you are suddenly coming in at the latter end of something like that, there's huge pressure. And I didn't really know how to fit in or do anything. And I hadn't done comedy on uh, television. You know, I always thought I was funny in life, but it's one thing to say you're funny, it's another thing to be funny. And I didn't know what to do. So, you know, first thing I learned is, uh, what my mother always says, is be humble. And I was plenty humble on that set. And uh, I spent a lot of time looking and not talking much, trying to just learn trying to feel comfortable. I had no idea that there would be a studio audience and those four cameras looking at you. And for the longest, I didn't know which to act to. I had done stage and I had done film before that. I said, do I act for the cameras or do I act for the, uh, to, for the uh, audience? And I asked Mr. Cosby that question. I asked Ellen Gittleson, who was our director at the time, that question. And Ellen said, you act for the camera. She was the director. So of course that made sense to her and, and Bill Mr. Cosby said, uh, you act for the audience. Come on. A girl was confused. So I thought by the time I'd gotten to Living Single, at least I understood what type of animal or beast this was. So that's what I learned on The Cosby Show. I learned on how to act for a sitcom. What attracted me to Low Under Sun was, um, it's an amazing cast. Fine pedigree, wonderful writing. Chris Mundy is our executive producer. He's a fantastic writer. He made a, a place where everybody could come and, and, uh, and do some really good work, which is really difficult right now in television for a lot of reasons. There's a lot of things on, but sometimes the quality is off and um, that wouldn't be the case here. So it's a wonderful playground for very good drama. It's a sexy drama and um, I'm glad to be there. What's the difference between acting in a foreign cinema as opposed to an Amer American cinema? American cinema, I think what it's, is right now, not what it used to be, is full of action, very popular culture. Whereas when you go to Europe, they have a whole, a different structure. And I think a lot of times you may not be very popular over there as a, as a celebrity, but you can be a, an actor who has a, a real background and have a really um, good chance of getting a show or getting a movie that surrounds your talent and that really shows it off. And that's very difficult to do here. You know, we're really competing against um, every new music vid video out there. Um, you're competing against uh, people wanting to make a lot of money right away. So they don't often nurture talent like I think they should. I think that's the difference, the big difference. That's my favorite sitcom on TV. I like The Big Bang Theory. I love Two and a Half Men. Um, I just did Let's Stay Together on BET. It's a wonderful show. Um, one of the creators, uh, uh, Jackie Edmonds, was one of the writers on Living Single, and it's produced by Latifa, so you gotta love it. 